Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Um, today I will be showing you something that's quite awesome that I found on Microsoft Word 2016. Okay, what I've done now is I've gone on my, um, I've opened my, my Microsoft Word on my, on my desktop. Um, this has to be in the Microsoft 2016 program. So if you've either got the Office program or you've got it installed or you've purchased it, then when you open your Word um, icon, when you click on your Word icon and get it open, um, this will be your home page. Okay, um, what we are looking at is the different templates that Microsoft Word offers. Okay, now um, in this case, um, what I thought was quite awesome is that you can create your own CV or they give you a CV template that you can utilize without actually going to create the CV on your own. You can actually just, if you click on it, um, it will open up and it will give you different, it will, well, it will give you the CV. You can always change everything on it to, to, to suit you. Okay, but everything's actually done already for you. You just need to go and input the information. Okay, if you have a look here, this is what the document actually looks like. Um, in here, you'll type your name. It's self-explanatory, so it actually tells you exactly what to do. Um, I'll just close up there. In here, you'll type your name, um, your job title. Um, you'll add in your own photo. If you, if you click on the photo, you can actually have it deleted. So you just click on it, and actually you can delete um, and put in your photo instead. Um, with the photo as well, you can also have it cropped. Um, so if you've got a photo that you want to have placed in there, um, you can click on that photo. Um, I've taught you this before on how to um, how to format your shape. Um, you right click on the double arrow cursor. You scroll down to the bottom. It says format shape. Um, when it comes in there, then you'll have the options of what you'd like to do to your photo on the right hand side of your screen. Okay, so that would be if you'd want to do anything to your photo. On the top of your toolbar as well, you can come across, you'll see picture format. If you click on there as well, um, then you'll get a bunch of, you'll also get a bunch of uh, different various options that you can uh, choose from to format your picture, shape format as well. So you can do various things to the picture that you put in, put on, on the CV. Okay, so you can just play around with it and see which uh, which best suits your CV. Um, then underneath your picture, you'll have your profile. You can put in a personal comments under there. About, it could be your objective or an about me section, something about yourself, what the type of position you're looking for, um, what your strengths are, something about yourself um, and where you'd like to see yourself moving forward. Okay. Um, if you look under your personal, under your photos, your profile, under the profile will have your contact information. So it will be your telephone number, your website, if that's applicable, if you do have one, your email address, and you can put in your hobbies or interests um, under there. Okay. On the right hand side of the screen, under your name and job title, it will be your education. So you will add your educational details, the school, the dates, etc self-explanatory and under there will be your work experience so um, the CV only allows you to put the latest three um, the latest three companies that you've worked for so you put it from I suggest that you use the latest one first so that your latest company will go first and that's in order from first to um, first to last okay or from your current actually current um, and then it will fall in order so start with your current position, okay? Under there, you'll have your skills. You can change the name of each skill accordingly. If you click on there, you will see a box will come up. Um, if you highlight the text box, it gives you the option of changing the skill accordingly, according to what you need it to be, okay? You can change the name of the skill, um, the, the, the highlight, the amount of, of um, well, the preference that you'd like, with the 35%, depending on, on what your skill level is, you can always have a change there as well. Okay, well, that's about it with regards to the CV template um, that we have. Um, I hope this helps. 
it's something that I found that that um, could really speed up the process, especially if you have a short CV and you just need something done within 5-10 minutes. It's very easy to do, very simple. Um, and I hope that you, you make use of it because it, it's actually a good idea that you took that, that Microsoft Word has actually implemented this onto their, onto their new, new, um, new package. Okay, guys, um, thanks for tuning in um, and we'll see you again soon. Ciao.